Welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Lotta and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious apple streusel cake. Now I did make another apple cake on my channel so if you want to watch that video as well you can watch it up here. But let's get into how to make this one. Now we're going to start by preparing our apples. So I have three apples here. Now you can also use four apples or two apples if you have really big ones. It just kind of depends on the size of your tin and how thinly you slice your apple slices. So we're basically just going to wash, peel, and then slice up our apples. And I'm going to be using the juice of one lemon to just squirt all over it to help the apples not get as brown and to kind of keep a little bit more moisture and color. go to the side and we're just going to let that marinate in that lemon juice. So now we can move on to making the actual dough. Now for the dough you're going to need 250 grams of softened butter, 175 grams of sugar with a good pinch of salt, 4 room temperature eggs, 1 splash of vanilla extract, 250 grams of flour, I'm going to be using whole wheat but you can just as easily use all purpose flour, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and last but not least 100 grams of ground almonds, but you can use any nuts that you want. So of course I'm going to be using my KitchenAid again. So like with all of our doughs, we're going to start by adding our softened butter with our sugar, salt, and vanilla into our KitchenAid and just letting that whisk up for 5 minutes or so until it's super light and fluffy. And then we're going to add our eggs one at a time until that is combined. butter mixture is all incorporated we can add our dry ingredients so we're going to simply add all of our dry ingredients with an additional 100 milliliters of milk now you might need a little bit more milk a little bit less milk depending on the flour and the temperature of all your ingredients but you want to aim to get kind of a spreadable but thick consistency into my pre-lined baking tray and then smooth it out before adding my apples. your cake just like this and put it into the oven like this. If you're going to do that, I suggest brushing the tops of your apples with a little bit of melted butter and then sprinkling over a little bit of cinnamon sugar. But alternatively, you could also add streusel on top, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set this aside and really quickly make my streusel. Now for the streusel, you're going to need 100 grams of softened butter, 75 grams of sugar, 
50 grams of almond slices, 100 grams of flour. I'm going to use whole wheat flour again, but you can also use all purpose flour, it's up to you. And I'm also going to be adding in a good pinch of cinnamon. Now streusel is literally the easiest thing you could make. All you're going to do is add all of your ingredients into your mixing bowl, except for your almond flippers. I'm going to add those at the end just because I don't want them to get ruined. And then you're just going to use a hand mixer or your kitchen aid and pulse this until you have a crumbly texture. Once you have your crumbly texture, stop. Don't over mix this because else you're going to have an actual dough and you don't really want a dough. You want the little crumbly texture. And then I'm going to fold in my almond slivers. sprinkle this over our apple slices and then this has to go into the oven that has been preheated to 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. So the cake's all cooled off and I cut it into some nice little squares and dusted it with some powdered sugar. So that's going to be everything for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, you could give it a thumbs up or write me a comment down below. And as always, the whole recipe is going to be in the description box as well.